this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping us on this journey to unconditional love. Love of the journey, love the soul group that are most definitely helping us back into our divine unions. And so I do divine love healing. I can connect to your souls and get you the messages that your souls want you to know to put you on your highest path. I see everything like a film, so I give you a write-up of everything I see, a guided mantra plus a three-card angel read. And I'm doing a special at the moment of only £20, and also I do bundle offers. So if you buy two, you get three. If you buy three, you get four. If you buy four, you get five, and so on. And what I see is anything, really. It could be an allergy of where your energy's at. It could be past life healing. It could be anything that you need to know, really, to put you on your highest love path. And so that's the love for you, the love for your life. And of course, when you're in your love vibe, then that's the way that you can be with your twin because your twin is in your heart space. Okay, as well as that, I also do a Divine Love Crystal Grid, which uses Holy Fire Reiki. You receive pieces of rose quartz. When you meditate with the rose quartz and send unconditional love out, it basically grounds the energies of unconditional love onto the planet. And so all my details are in the link. So I wanted to share a couple of things this morning and the guidance that I'm getting for myself. So the guidance that I'm getting is about let, let is a very specific thing, basically. It's about um, letting go of so the first time. So basically what happened for me was that when um, I, so after about 10, 11 months of trying to be friends, non, whatever I was doing with my twin at the beginning, um, he then told me that he was sort of seeing this girl, but he said that she wasn't really a girlfriend and all this stuff, who he's now still with. Anyway, and uh, so I just cut contact with him completely because I was like, well, I can't see you then because we can't, you know, I can't handle that. And so, um, and then it wasn't until a while later and all of this happened that I got back in contact with him. Anyway, so I am getting very clear guidance to clear the energy because when I woke up this morning, I keep seeing where we were when he told me that. And um, so about going back to, re again, reset the energy around that time to say, actually, no, it's okay because, you know, I understand that had to happen. But there is something within, I sense from his side, that he is still kind of punishing me for, not punishing me obviously consciously, but in his subconscious, because I hurt him so much from cutting contact with him. Um, because when I contacted him again, he said, you know, I can never ever go through that again. And so I was like, yeah, no, I know, I, that will never happen again because I'm different now, because of course I knew what well I didn't know I can't remember now if I knew what the twin flame was anyway that isn't the point the point is is that I'm being told to release all of those energies because that is coming up for both of us so that might be of interest um because it might help some of you so just tap into your own you know to your souls and or go to your heart space ask is there anything that needs to be let go at the moment anything that's coming up to the surface Okay, so the other thing is I woke up with two songs this morning and this is brilliant because as long as, you know, with that, you know, I, I say that the Twin Souls energy is always there to help you because the songs that I got were I Need to Praise You by Fatboy Slim. Now, when I went on to it, um, I'm going <laughs> to, so I'm going to put both of the links into the description box because... When I went onto it, there were so many signs in the comments again. So first of all, he had 22,000 um, 22, likes. 22 is obviously the sign of beloved. There was fox references. There is um, duck references, a duck on a, on a skateboard. I mean, there's just loads in there. So have a look for yourself. There is also a twin reference as well. It's actually called Nikon Twin 71. So just loads and loads and loads. Also yesterday we had um, the Phoenix. There's also the Phoenix here rising up out of the ashes. And below that we have 22. So, you know, this is why this is so amazing because you can see it's got the stamp of your divine twin all over it. And above that it has the twin, right? So we have the twin, twin reference, then we have the phoenix, and then we have 22. 
So this is what they say to you, because they know that you're working as a team, right? You're doing it together. So when you're following the guidance and you're following clearing your energies and doing everything that, you know, that you're being guided to do, following your heart, they want to praise you, right? Which is literally right here, because this is what they want. So the other thing is, the other song that came up this morning for me was Love Shack, which is an old song by the B-52s. Now, again, when I heard that, I was like, oh, again, you couldn't get more perfect because um, the B-52s, the song is Love Shack, um, but apart from that, it's all set in the woods. And this is the book that I referenced the other day that I bought, which has love shacks in it. I was I was drawn to buy this book because it's all about tree houses. And in it, I mean, unbeknownst to me, but when I'm reading the book, it has a set of twins in it as well. So this is the song. Now, the brilliant thing about this song is we've had the references about the goat. We've had the duck. Um, in here, again, in the comments, again, just the stamp of your divine partner saying, yes, this is it. We've got the woods. We have the, I mean, just crazy, crazy, brilliant stuff. We've got a duck on here, in here. We've got some guy called Quack. We've got um, loads. We've got a 69. Yeah, 69, obviously, the divine mirror. I mean, there's just loads. So I'm going to put both of those links in because um, it will, you can have a look and reference yourself because the two songs are brilliant as well. Love Shark and also um, I Got to Praise You. Now, the other thing is when I came down and that, this morning, I just turned on the radio. Um, the song that came on was Water Under the Bridge by Adele. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I know that I need to do that energy clearing because it is Water Under the Bridge. You know, at the time, it was horrendous when he told me that, you know, that um, he was seeing somebody and then said, but she's not really a girlfriend. And he's still with her for like four years later or whatever. But, um, you know, so this is why this is impor it's important, because if you're in a similar situation to me or, you know, we'll all have our own things. It's time to release that energy that is coming up to the surface, because this is what they want you to know. Waking up to kiss you and nobody's there. The smell of your perfume is still stuck in the air. It's hard. Yesterday I thought I saw your shadow running around. It's funny how things never change in this old town. So far from the stars. And I want to tell you everything. The words I never got to say the first time round. And I remember everything. From when we were the children playing in this fairground. I wish I was there with you now. Because if the whole world is watching... I'd still dance with you. I'd drive highways and byways to be there with you. Over and over, the only truth. Everything comes back to you. I saw that you moved on with someone new. In the pub that we met, he's got his arms around you. It's so hard. I want to tell you everything. The words I never got to say the first time around. And I remember everything. From when we were the children playing in this fairground. I wish I was there with you now. Because if the whole world was watching, I'd still dance with you. I'd drive highways and byways to be there with you, over and over again. You still make me nervous when you walk in the room. Then butterflies, they come alive when I'm next to you, over and over, the only truth. Everything always comes back to you. And I know that it's wrong, that I can't move on, but there's something about you. Because if the whole world was watching, I'd still dance with you. I'd drive highways and byways to be there with you. Over and over, the only truth, everything always comes back to you. And it does always come back to you because you are the one that they love. And just as I'm doing this video now, on the radio behind me has come on a song by Harry Styles, which is called Sign of the Times. <laughs> So this is the sign of the times because, you know, it's the sign of the times to live in love, in the love vibration, right? And to live in that place in your heart where you know your twin is. To not really, you know, this is why the messages today were so brilliant because, you know, it's getting rid of that stuff that's happened in the past. It doesn't really, you know, that, you know, that, that everyone's going to have stuff, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be with your twin. It's about stuff that's hurt you in the past that you're letting go of because holding on to that hurt somewhere in your energy field 
will be blocking you that will be the shadow that blocks a little bit more of your love and light coming through so just that's the guidance that i'm getting today so the songs are i want to praise you and also love shack all right, take care. Have a good one. Bye. If you want to come to me for healing or to join the Crystal Grid, please do. Because the more people... Oh, I'm just going to share some feedback from somebody, actually. That's just reminded me. Hang on. Um, she says, wow, I think the visual of each healing is better and more beautiful every time. I couldn't believe this morning. I felt you doing the healing. My whole body felt like it was vibrating. It was crazy. Thank you so very much. And then somebody, well, you're very welcome. And then the next person said, um, oh my God, the last video with Rue Paynes, which was the video from yesterday. My twin looks so much like him. And that's what I thought about mine. It's kind of freaking me out. When I saw the photo, I was like, what? Funny side note, before connecting with my twin, I never thought twice about beards. In fact, I don't think I even kissed any man who had a beard before him. His beard is one of the physical things I love most, aside from pretty much every other part of his body. Again, nothing I ever felt before for anyone. Anyway, so amazing. The comment with the, There was a comment where she says about my future husband, which I saw as well. I mean, always look in the comments of songs. When you search for songs, they come through or search on the link. If you go to the link in the description box, you'll see, you know, there'll be so many comments that have messages for you. So... Every day there is just so much more that comes to us. It's incredible. Well, yeah, absolutely, because your higher selves want you to be in the love vibe, right? So that's why the universe and your higher selves are giving you all of these messages to help you stay on track, right? Because it is, you know, sometimes it's a really hard journey. You've got people, you know, your twins are in karmic relationships. They're getting married to other people. They're doing things, you know, all of this stuff, which is just like, but the point is for you, live in your own but love bubble, right? Create your own love bubble for you, your life, what you want it to be, and trust that your union will happen at the right time for you. You're already in union through your heart. You already have that union there. So the more you focus on having it there and living in that love vibe, then you see them everywhere, right? They're everywhere around you, all the signs, all the messages, everything then there's no sense of separation. All right, well, I hope that helps. Take care, have a good one. Bye.